my name is Akilam and welcome back to another video on the tech savior so again on this video also we are going to continue on the topic uh, which is the basics of the flutter today we are going to see how we could install an uh, raised button inside a flutter application uh, so i'm going to use uh, this application itself i'm actually using this for a uh, couple of my videos also so and if you want to know more about the basics of the flutter uh, i have a whole playlist on these topics so go ahead watch those uh, playlist uh, it really helps if you are just getting started with the flutter and uh, this is also another instrument towards that uh, uh, that playlist uh, which is the basics of the flutter without further ado let us get started with the video uh, now uh, what i have all here is that uh, the body of my scaffold is currently and stack and uh, i just have an uh, a floating action button over here that's all i have at the moment so inside the child uh, we get for the uh, stack i'm going to put a raised button so you know to have a raised button or a button uh, you have to just call it the function uh, raised button itself so just calling by the function uh, itself it will leave us with a raised button as you can see a raised button has been appeared over here uh, but when you see this uh, you can see that uh, you know it is kind of sitting with the margin of the application and uh, we uh, actually don't have any kind of align properties inside the raised button uh, for aligning these raised button I uh, what I normally uh, do is that I will wrap with the, it it with another widget and uh, that will be a container so so uh, I would always say that you should uh, you know wrap it with a container so that you have all the align property. So after you know uh, wrapping it with a container, I can use the alignment then alignment dot center so that I can align it at the center itself. And now coming back. Uh, into the raised button uh, i'm going to look at a couple of properties of the raised button which are very basics uh, the first uh, property that i would like is the uh, child of the raised button so the child of the raised button will be a thing or object or icon anything that you like uh, which uh, will be displayed inside the raised button so let us start with the child for first i'm going to leave it as a text uh, i will say click here. So as you can see I click here has been appeared over here and uh, there is no uh, mandatory that the child of a raised button should be an text. You can uh, leave it with anything. Uh, we will try with an uh, icon 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 start sorry I missed it up. let us see access allowed as you can see the raised button child could be anything the first uh, child that I gave was a text or else you can use an icon like me also the next property that that I uh, you know these are a couple of properties that you would normally use on the raised button but these are not the end of the properties of a raised button the raised button has a lot of other properties uh, the second property is the uh, elevation so let us start with those elevation it takes an integer value so elevation what does the elevation does the elevation uh, gives the user a feeling that uh, these buttons are just raised above from the application how it do, does that it's simple uh, these properties uh, put a kind of a black shadow around the button so that it gives the user a feeling that it is standing above or uh, they are viewing it in a 3d perspective so let us sync that back into the application and uh, yeah that uh, gives a you know it is a slight uh, blackishness uh, you can't really see that much uh, the next thing that I would uh, like uh, is the color so color colors dot uh, let us give maybe a blue blue accent but uh, when you sing those into the uh, application you can see that uh, there is no color change at the moment uh, and uh, the reason for that is that uh, I haven't described the own uh, pressed 
parameter so the on pressed parameter says uh, the button what it should do when a user presses the uh, button currently there is no on pressed and there is no need of the button so the uh, button doesn't really change the color or the elevation none of those are really getting mattered with the button so let us uh, give the on pressed parameter so I'm just gonna push it towards a page where it uh, just says success so let us sync and uh, now everything about the button has been appeared uh, the blue accent has been appeared the you can see the elevation kind of now uh, that will be big I think uh, 30 itself is a big so you can see a little bit of a black shadow around the uh, you know button you should not leave it with a 30 or so leave it something like a 10 yeah the 10 gives much feel uh, like it is tinting above you it is kind of a shadow of the button what they are trying to do with the elevation so let us try pressing the button and voila it just took us towards a page where it says success so that's it guys uh, it was a pretty pretty basics uh, about how to put an uh, you know an raised button or even a normal button inside your flutter application hope you liked it uh, if you want to know more content about the flutter uh, consider subscribing towards the channel and uh, also i have a whole playlist on the topic basics of the flutter go ahead watch those and uh, please like the video if you really liked it have a nice day